Hey everyone, it's Ivan from KipAdger.com here to bring you another course review, this being a Pistol 1 course with Drew from Bear Solutions. While this was a level 1 course, it was kind of structured in a way for essentially kind of duty holsters, whether you're wearing like a war belt or as a law enforcement officer, essentially your duty belt, stuff along those lines. So to that end, I was like, sweet, I'm gonna run this guy. Brought this guy out there, STI 2011 Staccato P, Surefire X300 Ultra, running this off the grid concepts holster. It's pretty rad, but whew, off to a rough start. Pretty much a non starter. In part because I had a whole case of this stuff Winchester forged 9mm. Let's just say it's probably the worst production ammo there is, period. These two together, it was bad. Like, I felt embarrassed and, yeah, would not run, long story short. Fortunately, like a good student, I brought a backup pistol. So I ended up running this guy, Gen 5 Glock 19, with pretty much all the goodness from Tango Down in this, I always forget how you pronounce the name of this holster, Basically though, this Raven concealment inside the waistband, appendix holster, Edelon, something along those lines. So I was that one guy, the only one with a concealment holster running this class. The course started off with a Bear Solutions cold start drill, which that staccato P and that horrible ammunition did not really make it through. I was like, ugh, sorry, I'm gonna go switch pistols. but. I ended up getting that Glock 19 and somehow it managed to choke down that ammo for the rest of the course. And after that cold start, pretty much got into, like most things, kind of crawl, walk, run. Just going over different elements that are required to actually shoot accurately with a pistol. Starting with grip, kind of moving through all those different things. Hey guys, this is Drew Estel from Bear Solutions. So I created Bear Solutions a little over a year ago, about two years ago. Um, had a lot of good experience, had a lot of good mentors that invested in me, and I want to be able to give that back to other students. I uh, had a lot of experience, I know there's a lot of troubles that I went through, uh, figuring things out the hard way, if you could say that, and if I can take those lessons that I learned and apply them to people and help them shorten that learning curve, that was the goal with the training. That to affect civilians, getting out, shooting guns, shorten that learning process, and then be able to help as many law enforcement military guys that are standing in the fight as best as possible. One of the courses offers a pistol level one course in addition to pistol level two. At our courses, you can expect starting off with the foundations, the basics, refining those and diagnosing any issues that you have. And then after that, we're gonna to progress to presentations, draw stroke, multi-target transitions, movement, intro to movement, and static positions, and all those things. The big thing is we recognize what we're doing wrong, we find a solution for it, and then we reinforce what right is to make sure we can do that for the ultimate goal is through movement and our application of it. So there's a broad range of people that come to a pistol level one course from basic shooters who are still trying to get comfortable with their draw stroke or getting that round to go where they want it to or a lot of the common problems that you'll see. All the way to SWAT up guys that work on the teams that are active to military and everything in between to include competition shooters. The big thing here is that it's, it's scaled. It's what you make of it. So while yes, a beginner shooter can come to this course, an advanced shooter can come also, they're all gonna get something out of it because at the end of the day, it's all about those skills that we learn and how we apply those. So the progression and the way that works is conducive to everything. And if something's not working for you, you can always guarantee that we're gonna be able to give you some one-on-one -on -one feedback, whether it's myself or assistant instructors, and that's one of the things we pride ourselves on. In addition to the pistol level one, we have the level two course, which with that, whether it's rifle or pistol that you attend, it's gonna be starting off with a warm up, in addition to our cold start test, barricades, and we're shooting and moving the rest of the day. The common thing, theme amongst those level two courses is stress. We're gonna apply that through cognitive stress, social, emotional. We're gonna hit on a little bit of physical stuff, but we're really gonna see where those fundamentals break down at and what you need to do to make yourself a better shooter so you can apply that in real world and problem solve. Other courses we offer, law enforcement restricted courses, consulting for military and law enforcement, and then incorporations we've worked with also on team building and other things like that. Head to the website, bearsolutionsllc.com. That's B-A-E-R, the correct way to spell bear, solutionsllc.com. Or you can find us on Instagram at, at Bear Solutions. When you come to our courses, one thing you're gonna realize is the deficiencies you have. On top of that, we're gonna give you a plan to fix that 
and you're gonna know exactly what to do going in your training to make sure you can keep progressing and get to that point where you wanna be. It's about you, you guys pay a lot of money, we wanna make sure you get the most out of it. Looking forward to training with you, sign up for one of the courses. One of the things that kind of stuck out to me was Drew's kind of analytical mind and him wanting the students to get the most out of the course. And to that end, prior to arriving at the course, basically filled out this questionnaire. And a lot of those times, those things are like, okay, whatever, sure, yeah, I've shot before, whatever it is. What are you looking to get out of the course? Oh, I'd like to get more accuracy, at whatever, whatever it is, all these different questions and stuff. And some people take them serious, some people don't. But to Drew's credit, he, talking with him, he basically lays all those things out, like the night before in his hotel room, looking at all of them and based on all those essentially structures his line so when you come up on the shooting line it's like hey this person target one this person target two this person target three this person target 17 this person target 18. basically structures the way the actual course is set up or i'm sorry the way it's laid out on the firing line all the students in a way that makes sense for him as well as the students to basically convey the information, i.e. maybe people over in this pocket are newer shooters, they're gonna need attention with this. Maybe over here, here's some students that their desire is to get better with respect to accuracy. Okay, cool, like he knows he needs to work with these people on this. And it lays it out in such a way that he actually can go through, get one-on-one -on -one time, even though it's a larger course, I think about 18 students, but get one-on-one -on -one time, as well as kind of just being able to convey something to like three or four people right here, rather than going all the way back down to the other end of the line to be like, oh, hey, by the way, I was just telling this person this. And with that, convey a lot of really good information to all these different people and help them on their journey of where they actually wanna go as a shooter. One of the things I thought was pretty cool was the way Drew showed people to do it the wrong way. Doesn't make any sense. Like, what? But no. So, trigger press, for example. People be up there, be like, all right, put your finger here, press back, break the shot. Where'd it go? Went over there, right? All right, now do it this way. And in doing that, ultimately showing people the wrong way to do something, like trigger press, for example. What it does is it equips people with the knowledge to self diagnose. So then they're like, that didn't feel right and I'm looking at my target that's where the impact was yeah I did that wrong then they can go back and be like all right yep this feels right and break those right shots again without having the context of what is right and what is wrong as far as like trigger press you're just like well I think that was good and I thought that was a really interesting take and kind of approach to show people like the proper way to press the trigger for me personally, as I go through courses, a lot of the stuff is kind of repetitive and it's like, okay, just reinforcing good things. Picking up these little nuggets here and there though, and that's where the value is. I will say at this Bear Solutions course, definitely, I came away with it with some really good stuff. One of the issues I had had was essentially with my shooting grip, especially shooting aggressively and pretty quick, having my support hand essentially basically breaking free. And Drew gave me some, yeah, really good guidance and tips on how to create a better grip to alleviate that. And for me personally, that was absolutely very valuable in the course. If you're looking for just a solid pistol class to really reinforce all those fundamentals, I would take a hard look at the level one course by Bear Solutions. Drew travels pretty much all over the US. You can find out more information over on the website as far as different class dates. Probably be able to find something hopefully fairly close if not local to you where you are. But overall, definitely enjoyed the class. I personally got a lot out of it with respect to grip, which I found to be incredibly helpful. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.